It is May 22nd, 2012. This was posted May 21, 2012. UN to control world's information and communications from Internet Hub in Africa. There's a report from the World Bank. Africa's economic development was outlined as a golden opportunity for a green future, which essentially means knocking off most of the population. At the fourth Africa Carbon Forum, the Executive Secretary of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Can't do this without having horrible visceral reactions. Well, the vast potential represented by African countries in the fight against climate change cannot be underestimated. Okay, so this forum, this is where, well, potential projects and developers and funders can meet to exchange ideas and it's hoped to take concrete steps toward greening Africa's future. We are living the new world. We're in it. This uh, conference where policy policymakers, project developers, and private investors discuss climate smart agriculture, public and private partnership funding for projects, um, Africa is rich with resources. It contains enormous deposits of diamonds and cobalt and copper and uranium and magnesium and tin. Gold is mined each year at about one billion dollars. The UK's Department of International Development, along with researchers from the British Geological Survey, as well as the University of London, found underground aquifers of clean and untouched water in Africa that are 100 times the amount found on the surface of the continent. Now, when I read that, I thought, bingo, right? I actually said that in the video. Uh, but it's not the bingo, actually. No. Let's see. Well, multinational corporations have great incentive to corporatize the continent's resources. $11 million project funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Coca-Cola. Well, they happen to be employing 50,000 Kenyan and Ugandan smallholders to produce fruit for Minute Maid. Africa is going to be the new Central America. The UN announced plans to allow corporations and foreign governments to land grab in Africa Africa has voluntarily signed agreements with multinational corporations and foreign investors, allowing them to control agricultural land. And the nation's leaders, of course, believe that, well, giving these corporations access to the resources will help their people, of course. No, the nation's leaders just don't want to end up dead. They thought, mm, the choice, dead or rich from payoffs, I'll take the rich from payoffs. So this document entitled the United Nations Global Compact and the OECD Guidelines for Multinational Enterprises outlines through voluntary means how the UN will implement their international guidelines with respect to corporate conduct, standards, and abilities. And Obama, yes, he's going to be publicly announcing $3 billion to securitize Africa's food supply and agricultural farms. Huh. Boy. <sighs> it's so nice to be kept from all of this complicated stuff, isn't it? They just go ahead and do their business and let us know once it's done. The G8 nations will join together as the new alliance for food and nutrition security. Okay, so, you know, the bingo agenda? Africa is to be transitioned into a technological hub focusing on technology research under the promise of employment opportunities in Africa, not here, and improving educational institutions in Africa, not here. The actual agenda is the diversification of strategies with foreign partners that will facilitate manufacturing industrialization and technological development through the corporate takeover of Africa. Well, if you don't think you're living in a corporate fascist new world,
order yet you are probably having a pretty good time with your life under careful control the UN has planned to create an Africa that will become not only the food center of the world but also the single processor of the world's communications the ICT sector unit a department of the World Bank has plans to turn Africa into a centralized internet epicenter where the flow of information and communications are under UN governance they will provide governments and private organizations with the directives and capital to infiltrate Africa through corporatism the creation of infrastructure and e-government projects will be handled solely through the ICT the funding will come from donors international organizations and non-government organizations NGOs telecommunications think tanks with regional telecommunication associations will work with private sector experts and the UN's International Telecommunications Union to construct a technological industry that will yield not only profit but power the ITU is the UN's information and communication technologies agency they allocate global radio spectrum and satellite orbits develop the I can't believe what I'm reading develop the technical standards that ensure networks and technologies seamlessly interconnect and strive to improve access to ICTs to underserved communities worldwide by whatever means necessary their goal is to facilitate the flow of communication which is completely under their dominion one initiative already in progress is the square kilometer array radio telescope project a two billion investment that is meant to be the biggest research installation in the world the enormous computing power this installation is capable of will take the current global daily internet traffic and multiply it by two and you start to approach the stupendous scales of data the square kilometer array will churn out daily about an exabyte per day this vastly outpaces the state of the art in computing billions are being poured into the development of this project by foreign investors on April 4th there was a two-day meeting in the Netherlands concluding with a press statement that they want to take an inclusive approach inclusive to the location of the project that location has become the continent of Africa and the project would be a joint venture between the governments of South Africa and other participating nations interesting South Africa but the majority of costs would come from the privately funded SKA organization the square kilometer array organization and the project is part of the ICT's plan to create a broadband universal portal that will be the access point by which online resources and information are dispersed throughout the world why do you think Obama was so gung-ho on broadband do you really think that he wanted to bring to those impoverished families in the Appalachia the computer high-speed internet access to those in Appalachia do you so the ITU will be in conference at the end of the year with major telecommunication and information corporations to devise a treaty that will regulate important aspects of the internet as well as create jurisdiction over telecoms and ICT industries and this international treaty will effectively control all 
communication as we know it, including the internet, cell phones, emails, faxes, satellites, governmental intelligence networks, all other digital communications. The treaty will give the UN unilateral governments over the internet, as well as telecommunication issues such as accounting rates and termination charges for next generation networks, data privacy, cybersecurity, international mobile roaming, and equipment specifications. So, Africa is going to be the centralized network of global controls that force all other nations and countries to become dependent upon the UN. Obama will announce not in detail what I've just read, but he'll announce that we're right there with it. And all American people will go, Yay, Obama! Hope! Change! Yes, we can!